Sir William CEO. Uh, thank you, Mr Chairman, for the opportunity to speak and make a contribution to the Biosecurity Amendment Bill. When you listen to the speech of the Chairman of the Primary Production uh, Select Committee, I, I, didn't, I get a sense that this bill doesn't convey the, what he was trying to convey in his speech. What he was trying to convey was the sense of um, that they were doing something. But the reality, Mr Speaker, is I don't get that sense at all. There's a lack of ambition in the rhetoric that we just heard. Um, because when we look at the bill, at the Biosecurity Amendment Bill, it is only talking about increasing uh, the penalties from $400 to $1,000 for the poor soul that comes through our borders and perhaps may not be able to fully understand English and speaking in a different language. That's what this bill is about. It is a shame that he talked about what we could have done as a country, but that's not what the bill does. And as the member of Mangere, where the airport is located, and we call that place the gateway to New Zealand, the gateway where New Zealand touches the rest of the world, biosecurity is important uh, to the constituents there um, because it is about protecting our borders. It is about being able to ensure that our economy, our environment, and human health gets the best uh, resources in order to ensure uh, that that is, is, is protected. Uh, and, and so uh, I follow my colleague, the Honourable Damon, uh, Damien O'Connell, and say that Labour does support this bill, but it, it isn't the kind of work that we ought to be doing in order to secure our borders. And the sad thing is, well, there's more to come, he says. Well, let's just wait and see. But biosecurity is important. Uh, in order to protect our, our border, in order to protect our interests. And it is particularly important in this day and age because of the growing international relationships that we now have as we sign up uh, under Labour and, of course, under this government now, uh, a lot of uh, trading agreements with our major trading partners. But it is also important because we're also seeing a lot of... Uh, the, a lot of interaction between New Zealand and other countries around this world, and of course more recently with the continual climate change. The sad thing sir, about this whole bill is that, yeah, we're, we're tinkling around the edges, but at the same time they cut $2 million from the budget of biosecurity, and 56 people lost their jobs. And in the kind of work that when we're talking about biosecurity, it is labour intensive. We need people on the ground. We need people to be monitoring uh, our systems. We need people to be able to be engaging with other similar uh, countries and be sharing the intelligence that we need before they arrive at our borders. And then we need people to be conducting work that is needed after they, they come through our borders. And that's going to be particularly important as we get closer to 2011 when we're expecting about 60 plus thousand people to come through uh, our, our borders. The other sad thing, sir, is it, it's such a small work that, you know, uh, that we're spending a lot of time talking about this when the more important things that we should have been talking about was about job security, which obviously uh, the, the sacking of 56 people means that that's not a priority for this government. We need to be talking about why this government is going to be raising uh, the, the levies on ACC for, uh, for motorcyclists. And I don't know whether members of this House have received uh, emails from a range of people across this country. Very, very unhappy about that. Uh, we need to be talking about why this government has, not, uh, has cut 80% uh, of funding that should have gone into uh, adult and community education, and particularly education that is needed uh, as we build the skills base for our uh, population as we head into the future. And when we come out of this recession, it's going to be important that we have a skills workforce prepared to take up the future opportunities. Look, Mr Speaker, I don't want to prolong this because, as we said, uh, it, it is 
a shame that uh, that this bill has been introduced at this particular time. It's minor tinkering, and we're supporting it, but we should have been doing a lot more than what this bill entails.